What is happening guys? Aaron here, back finally again with another video. I'm sorry it's taking so long, but I really didn't have anything to show you and I've been working on the other business. And if you need managed services, by the way, managed IT services, head over to bizresults.com. Anyways, back again with another video. Now, today on this video, it's gonna be for people that maybe want lever arms but don't wanna pay for it, but hey, maybe you have some stuff in your garage already extra pieces I know that you're probably gonna say how the, who the heck has these extra pieces but you would be surprised I was able to find all these pieces online on offer up just kind of waiting and uh, you know bargaining with people because if they have them they don't really need them and they're gonna sit on there for a long time because who's gonna buy random pieces except for maybe you now uh, so I'll go ahead and show you how I made the lever arms and um, and then I'll show you how they work but I will say this if you want to get some lever arms and you don't already have these pieces or you can't get them for very cheap, this is not the route to take. The route to take would be to get these ones from Titan Fitness right here. I have a link down in the description that'll take you to my affiliate link. It'll help me out, I'll get a couple bucks off your purchase. I'm actually gonna order some and I'm gonna do a review on them here pretty soon. But let me go ahead and show you how I made these ones and uh, we'll go from there. So first, let me go over what exactly I use to make these, right? Um, basically, I use on this side for the handle, uh, I use one of those battle rope attachments for the monster light rigs, right? Then I uh, took an upright or a cross member or whatever you can find, something that's three by three with the correct hole spacing so you can put these attachments on. It doesn't need to be Rogue brand, it could be Titan, whatever you can find that's cheapest online. Just make sure three by three, five eighths holes. Uh, and then what I did, I cut this one down to 27 inches. That's all I wanted. I just 27 inches was fine. Uh, and then I used the uh, the little plastic uh, feet that you would normally see on the uprights. You don't necessarily have to have that. Uh, you can have them hollow. It doesn't really matter. But just to make sure that you know looks a little cleaner. And I had them. So uh, then on the other side, it is. And let me let me bring you over there. All right. And on the other side for. Our plates, I use just the rack-mounted um, Monster Light storage posts. Um, then, at the top, this is a bracket from one of the Monster Light rigs, okay? Uh, somebody had these. These didn't come with my rack, but if you can find something like this, you can use this. And all I had to do was modify it and throw one more hole right here so that way it would swing without hitting the back hitting the upright over there the only other thing to consider is getting some sort of bumper because all lever arms have little bumpers on the side i looked around the gym and i thought hmm, what can i use for a bumper here and what piece of equipment do i never ever use the dead wedge piece of junk if you have these you probably don't use them because you probably have a pallet jack by now and what i did here was i recessed a hole in there then put another hole through the middle with a 5 8 bolt. That way I could put it right on the back of where this plate loaded storage is and it works pretty good. All right guys, and what you may have noticed on the other side is that I used a pin. I would not recommend that. I just didn't have any bolts and I just threw that one up there for demonstration purposes. But as you can see on this side, I actually did put a 5 8 bolt through there, washer, nut, and locking washer on the other side. Be safe, do it that way. Uh, the other pins, uh, normally I would throw one pin on the other side and then one pin on the other side so that they're coming in like this and uh, that should be fine. You can optionally bolt those to the rack but you're not gonna be able to quickly remove them. Uh, you can also get a pin with a little um, locking piece on the other side that has a, it basically has a hole through the end of the pin. You put um, a locking bracket on there so that it, acts, it doesn't accidentally slip out the side. All right, guys, so two things you may be asking yourself. Number one, uh, why are these things so high on the rack? Well, the reason they're so high on the rack is that I haven't had a chance to drill holes down the upright. Now, your uprights are not going to look like this. You're going to have holes all the way down. The only reason I have these 
in the front and the back with limited amount of holes on the side is because this is from the fold out rack. So my rack's sort of a hodgepodge. I'm gonna have to drill some holes to bring these down to the actual spot that I wanna use them in. Um, the other thing is the handles. Though the handles are a little too far apart, you know? So these aren't the regular handles that you'd see that are gonna come in here and maybe have more grips on them. Uh, but it's just something I had laying around and the only reason that I really wanted to get the lever arms back because I'm sure you've seen my other videos where I have the lever arms. Uh, I got rid of the lever arms because I didn't use them and so it wasn't really worth it to have something that was so expensive uh, if I wasn't going to use it that much. So I got rid of them and then the one exercise that I was wanting to do was the sort of the core twist and press. And so it doesn't matter how far the handles are because I'm not going to be using them together. So I'm not going to be doing any pressing like this. Uh, I'm just going to basically be doing this and then, you know, the core twist press. I missed that exercise and I like that on, you know, sort of the end of a workout day. So that's why I decided to make these and uh, that's why the handles don't matter. Now, the other thing that you may be asking yourself is, well, now, Aaron, I can't go, you know, any higher than this, right? which is true, but for me, that's not going to really matter because when I'm going to be pressing, it's going to be up to here. But if it doesn't work out, I'm going to take a hacksaw and cut back here, cut back there, and come over this way. That way, I will be able to uh, go past that point at the top, if that makes sense. Anyways, guys, like I said, don't necessarily buy these unless you kind of, the pieces fall into your lap like they did mine. Um, um, I would go with the Titan route and I'll, I'll put the link in the description uh, and I'm going to order those and then I'm going to do a review on those and we'll see how they compare to these ones that I made. Uh, but until next time, thank you for watching. Peace. But wait, before I go, I did say I was going to show myself using the thing so you can actually see that it does truly work. Uh, and I, I just have the pins in here. So uh, anyways, I threw it over here because like I mentioned before, it doesn't fit on that rack but your upright should look like this. So, voila, they, they move like a lever. That's, that's all it really needs to do. Put it wherever you want on the rack, you're good to go. All right, now, peace, thanks for watching.